Yes? Yes. Yeah. 300 years. Almost. Oh. Almost. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Best fruit and the best people, the best people in the world. Body cab. <laughs> Whoa. Very beautiful. Oh, Thai chess. Oh. Sadi ka, everybody. Today we are in the Talat Plu area. Now, the Talat Plu area is one of those areas that we keep coming back to. But we actually never explored around here during the daytime. We've been here many times in sort of the evening time. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to try and explore Talat Plu during the day, see what it has to offer and maybe try some yummy food. Let's do this. Yes, we just came off of the BTS line, the Silam line BTS down here into the Talat Plu station. And today we are planning basically to explore a very authentic side of Bangkok and to be honest I've seen it being covered in a couple of videos but not very extensively and uh, yes we have not explored this place at all during the daytime we've been here a few times during the evening we were here with a hidden Bangkok tour which is uh, it took us it took us to the, the large golden Buddha Wat Pak Nam and we've also been here for Loi Kratong and that was also to the large Buddha temple and each of those times we've fallen in love with the people that are in Talat Plu, in the Tonburi area in general. The vibe here is very very positive and it's also like I said an area that doesn't get uh, enough love I feel. Because of its proximity it's rather close to Chinatown and Khao San and areas like this it I does icon Siam as well. It kind of gets a little bit overshadowed sometimes, but this is the real Bangkok, and it certainly gives you a very authentic feel. Just have a look here at again the beautiful housing, the architecture, these arches even on the street. Like we're just literally off the BTS now for the last 30 seconds, and this is what we're seeing already. I always feel like this uh, Talat Plu area is a little bit like a local enclave in the midst of a uh, tourist yep. center somehow, with Khao San, with Icon Siam, with all of these sort of different areas. And Talat Plu is just, I don't know, it just feels very local. Uh, the prices here are very local as well. If you're looking around, we just walked past a, caf a cafe there and they were selling coffee for like 35 baht or something like yep. that. So Perfect. Um, it's just amazing. It just, it, it has a very local, feel and look to it yeah 100 percent. and uh i think what we're going to do guys is we're going to basically start the day off by <laughs> heading study cab we're gonna start the day off by heading towards talat plu market area there is a talat plu market we've never checked it out before we are feeling particularly hungry as always and there's no better way to fix your hunger then with a nice mountain of Thai street food. Let's have a look at this here. Surprise temple. Surprise. A surprise temple, as always. No matter what street you go down in Bangkok, there's a temple that's going to jump out at you at some point. I love these, the gate structure, everything. Everything about these particular areas, these sort of like little hidden enclave areas of Bangkok. Every time we walk down these, it's just so beautiful and it just, uh, it really gives us an overall feeling of warmth, fuzzy vibes. But yeah, guys, like I said, we're going to have some food. Have a look at this. Wow. Yeah, so many uh, flowers. Gorgeous. Very beautiful. Flower arrangements. Flower arrangements. Yeah. In German, you say flower circles. Flower uh, circles. I don't ah, know. Yeah. How yeah. do you say that? We just say arrangements. arrangements. Or a bouquet. A bouquet. A bouquet. A bouquet of sorts. <laughs> Wondering if that's because of the Loi Kratom or is it something else? Could be, yeah. We are still relatively close to the Loi Kratom. We had an unbelievable Loi Kratom in this very area, like we just said. And uh, yeah. Very excited to have some uh, to check out Talat Plu Market and also maybe to have some some food. I'm in the mood for a little bit of uh, crispy pork, and this is the best place in the world. 
to come for crispy pork. Uh, Bangkok in general, Thailand in general, I don't mean specifically Talat Blue. Let's get a drink here. Yeah. I think we're gonna grab ourselves a, a refreshment first to start the day off the right way as well. Swati Cub. Coffee. Coffee. Coffee ice. Okay, coffee ice. Yeah. Song. Song. Cup. Cup. <laughs> Cup. How do you say Thai milk tea? It's difficult, yeah. In <laughs> Thai. Oh, we're happy. I'm happy enough with a with a nice a nice black coffee. It's yeah. perfect. How do you say ice uh, ice Thai tea though? Let us know down in the comments, guys. Also, I'm pretty sure they don't say Thai tea. Don't they just say tea? Probably just say tea with milk. Yeah, <laughs> it's not wondering. it's not a Thai tea. It's like Chinese food in China. It's not it's Chinese just food. It's homemade. just it's just food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are the the best places to come. I think for a refreshment. Look at this. So easy and convenient. It also works as a drive-through. <laughs> Seems to be selling cigarettes on the street. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the coffee in large plastic bags with ice, that's actually kind of cool. I don't mind it. Seems to be a very large volume of coffee as well. Very, very sweet. You added like two or three different types of sugar and then two different types of condensed milk as well. <laughs> we're very confused now as to how we're supposed to consume thought, this coffee. I thought he was gonna put the straw in immediately so that we don't have to do this part. Um, but I couldn't tell him so because the, the language hurdle was a little bit too big. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm just gonna try and unti untighten this uh, little... Oh, look, the bag stays like this. Maybe oh, you just go... Perfect, yeah, okay. That makes sense, yeah. Maybe I'm gonna add a little bit back. Yeah, yeah, around the straw and then you're good. Yeah, but just not too tight, you know? And then you have like a bag and a bag and a bag. Three bags. In a bag, in a bag, in a bag. How is it? Sweet. Very sweet, yeah. I was, nice. I was just saying he added uh, like two or three different types of sugar and then two different types of condensed milk. You have like half the calories for the day. Yeah. In that bag. <laughs> Crazy. Well, at least it keeps us going because we haven't really had any breakfast so far. And these are only 30 baht each, yeah? Yes, 30 baht each. Wow. They're giant as well. Like Very big. good value. Look at the size of this bag. The size of it, yeah, it's huge. It's a lot of coffee. <laughs> Massive amount of coffee for 30 baht, wow. Sorry, I'm trying to prep your coffee here as well. <laughs> On to new adventures with uh, our giant coffee in a giant bag. Mm. Oh yeah, you try it. You didn't try it yet. Oh, oh, it's very good, but it is uh, very sweet. Very sweet. Wow. It, uh, it tastes a little bit like, um, you know, when you were a child and you had like these really sweet cornflakes and afterwards you would drink the milk. It's That's true. a little bit what it tastes like. It tastes I don't know almost why. almost like um, caffeinated chocolate milk. Very yeah. good though. Interesting. Very, very good. Very good. Hello. Just have a look at how beautiful this area is. It's unreal. The houses here so traditional sort of really just takes takes you back like not us back but it takes you back in terms of how it looks it contrasts very heavily to a lot of the more modern parts of bangkok where there's uh, skyscrapers and large shopping malls and things like that and then you come somewhere like this where you have these beautiful traditional style buildings and a lot of them um, just are open wide like Naomi was just saying and it makes a lot of sense as well they have a very like open front so these ones here obviously are closed but if there is people on the inside they have the, the doors literally wide open and open for 
for everybody to sort of come in and out just like this shop front here for example ah, such a beautiful area Salikab! Whoa! Tasty, no? Yeah! We have Looks to make really it good. Back. Oh my god! It smells incredible! Bus number 111. Yeah! The lucky bus. I love these old school buses and so I don't know. I'm just in love with old school Bangkok. We literally bought a t shirt. Yeah! Um, just there yesterday we went to the Platinum Fashion Mall and we bought a t shirt with one of those Bangkok red buses. It's one of the most sort of picturesque things about Bangkok. Look at this. I'm too tall. I'm way too tall. I had to keep going in and out. Oh, Jesus. We're very close now to Talat Plu Market. So we'll see, we'll check this out. And then uh, currently making it through this coffee. It's a massive bag of coffee. It's like a never ending coffee. It's, it's huge. I think the coffee will, to be honest, the coffee will win. Yeah. If it's a competition, who's gonna finish first? The coffee's gonna finish me before I finish him. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're very close now to the market. Maybe grab some food. Sadikab. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, see, see where the day takes us. We're happy to be in the local side of, of Bangkok. This is the our absolute favorite place. Look at this. Like a tuk-tuk bus. Like a tuk-tuk bus, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I think it's, you can take a private tuk-tuk as well in a lot of Bangkok, but I think this is more like public transport. Yeah, when yeah, of course, yeah, it's shared. <laughs> be a very, very low cost way of getting we around. A, we met a teenager not that long ago. I believe he said it's like eight baht or something. It takes you anywhere. No matter where you want to go, the, if you are somewhere on the line, even if it's like an hour, it's gonna be eight baht. Yeah. Don't know Incredible. if it's that tuk tuk, but <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Un unbelievable. Try and cross the road over there, yeah? How do you cross? I don't know. Try and find our way across the road. Yeah, guys, welcome to Talat Plu Market. We are currently, believe it or not, under a bridge. Just like the Red Hot Chili Peppers would say. And yeah, we're gonna try and uh, cross, <laughs> cross the road here. <laughs> Let's go. And here's those uh, sort of Tuk Tuk Colectivo style uh, cars that we were just looking at. Here we go, let's see if we can cross. Yes, we can. Let's cross without hitting a scooter. People are typically very friendly on the roads in Bangkok. Some people not so much, some people are. But yeah, yes. I think, uh, the trick is always to hold your hand out and then usually they stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're, just let, if you're struggling. Yeah. Let people know you're crossing. Cup. Uh, this seems to be more like uh, maybe vegetable and fruit area. Yeah, it seems to be maybe like, like a, it's a blend of a fresh market with also street food. So I guess what we're gonna do is we'll try and see where we can stop for a little bit of a munchy munch. And also check this area out as well. It seems to be like half closed, half open, but it seems to be very traditional. They're playing chess, oh no, aren't they? it's not chess. What game it is that? It looks like something that is like Thai chess. It's like chess. Chess, no. Thailand. Oh, Thai chess. Yeah. Thai chess. Oh. Thailand. Very cool. Same, same rule. Same rules. Same rule. Yeah. Oh. oh okay. Nice. <laughs> Looks amazing. <laughs> this guy here is selling amulets. Very, very interesting. Yeah. 
Buddhas. Yeah. Sandy Cobb. Ah, Sandy Cobb. Whoa. Very the, beautiful. Uh, the people who drive cars, a lot of them have like the, these smaller ones that are in the little yeah. protective case. You see people the wearing them as necklaces as well. as well. Yeah, but not the, the ones in the case. Very beautiful. Topkun Cobb. Amazing. Very interesting. Maybe we can buy some fruit for later. <clears throat> yes. Because in the area where we are, for whatever reason, we don't have a fruit market. Yeah, I keep true. looking for fruit markets because I really like eating mm. fresh fruit. Yeah. But there's just no fruit market and no vegetable market. Yeah. This ready to eat market. <laughs> which is great as well. Like I'm not complaining here. Yeah, I just I wish we had a proper kitchen set up so we could make fresh food like this stuff here. Thailand has some of the greatest fresh produce. Meat? Meat? Body cab. Oh, some beautiful fresh vegetables. You can get a duck. It's duck, yeah. Duck or chicken? Hello. Wow, okay. Totally unexpected. Did not expect Talat Blue Market to be like this. And it is all entirely under a bridge. Incredible. Looks like a lot of the stands are already... I don't know if the people already left. I don't know if we're maybe early we're or, we're, or we're late. I'm not sure. Or but maybe it opens at the evening time, that's also possible. Yeah. It could be both, it could be too early or too late. So we are, I don't know, right now it's like 2 p.m. or something, I don't know. Yeah, true. There's early also afternoon. the very close to here, there's the first one market, which is a night market. And the night markets in Thailand typically open from 4 p.m. So that's always our, our next option as well. But I think. The best way to go about this particular area here is to head back towards the the street because there seemed to be a few vendors over towards where the street was and uh, maybe we can just pick one there and enjoy some food before we explore a little bit more of this gorgeous area i really really am falling in love with talat Plu. look at the houses over there across the road yeah, super traditional houses. I love, super traditional. I love when they sort of put uh, mix in this like uh, wooden panels. Yeah. A lot of the traditional houses have that. Always looks amazing. Really beautiful. And this is again something that we truly love about Thailand. These sort of like just mini... What would you even call them? This one here would be like a reflection house. Um, and then this here is more of like a shrine, no? It's like image house, no? Image house, but yes. But I believe, um, I don't know, the last time we were in Thailand, I believe somebody said to us, um, this is made to keep the evil or dark spirits inside. So what yes. you do is... You give, you give drinks. Uh, drinks, like offerings, and maybe even some food, like fruit or whatever, and then the demons are going to have a party yep. in, this, <laughs> in this small temple instead of uh, harassing your house or uh, vendor stall or whatever. So yeah crazy i think that's what it's made for that's why you have like this miniature people in there as well yeah, yeah. so the demons are like oh this is this is where the people are yeah yeah <laughs> you see people uh for example here you have a a cup of like red cream soda um which is actually a very popular drink we had it with dan bangkok not that long ago he told us it's very popular but you see people giving like bottles of fanta cans of coke to these particular uh shrines and then, um, yeah, like they'll, they'll literally be full and they'll pop a straw in them and then they'll leave them there and it's for the evil spirits. So, very interesting. It's something that not a lot of people will probably notice when uh, you come to Thailand. If we remember the story correctly, I'm not 100% on it. <laughs> yeah, true. Somewhere across that road, yeah. Now the tuk tuk taxi is waiting for us. Asia. 
Yes. It took us a, a long time though, like it took us probably six months in Asia until we had that figured out. Yeah, yeah, it's not a, it's not an easy task to, uh, not an easy task to master for sure. Let's see if we can pick something wisely here. Some of these, yeah, yeah. Some of these stalls look fantastic. Some of them uh, look like they're kind of half closed. So you have to pick and choose pretty carefully. But we did see one that we are very interested in, uh, in giving a try. Yeah, this looks good. I think, uh, I think so. Yeah. Some. Maybe there's other dishes. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, uh, Thai. It's interesting when there's just one dish. It's one or two, but she didn't say what. So I think it's just one dish that you get. It's uh, usually a good sign if they have, uh, if they don't have an extremely extensive menu. Um, because it means that they basically specialize in a particular thing. Now, I have no idea what the name of this place is, but I'm sure we'll figure it out and we will let you guys know just exactly where it is. Very, very excited though to give this food a try. Yes. This is the one thing that I'm still not so sure about here in Thailand. Sometimes they give you like the garlic cloves, but they, the garlic cloves still have their dress on, so they still have like the skin and everything, which you just eat it with uh, the, the stuff that is around it. Basically, take a handful of the dish and then you add either garlic and chili or both. And then you just the way it is. Yeah, yeah, as far as oh, I know. Oh wow! We never tried that. Maybe, maybe you can give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> See what it's like. Extra flavor. Wow, that bridge must be like from, I don't know, 1970 or something. That is a pretty old fridge and our food just came out as well. Have a look at this. Yeah. It looks delicious. <laughs> so we uh, went for this here, which is a <laughs> stewed pork leg on rice. And then mm -hmm. you also have some beautiful, uh, some veg. You also have an egg. And it obviously came with the sides of the chilies and garlic. And then this, which looks absolutely terrifying, to be honest. It smells terrifying as well. Very, very spicy. And then we got a red Fanta. So I thought, I thought for a second that this was like the red cream soda that we were saying that people were leaving at the temples, but it's actually red Fanta. Strawberry. So strawberry Fanta, yeah. In the oh, original yeah. glass bottle. Glass bottle. Incredible. So I'm just going to quickly give this a try for you guys. It looks um, absolutely incredible, to be honest. Very, very excited to try this. Rice and the pork. Here we go. It looks incredibly juicy. Because they add the pork over the top of the rice, the juices from the pork, they flow down onto the rice and coat it with delicious goodness. And uh, yeah, that rice is fantastic. It's so good. Looks very moist. I think they added a lot of sauce. Oh, it's incredible. You need to give this a try. One of my favorite tastes of Fanta. Strawberry Fanta, not existent in Europe, by the way. Never seen it in Europe. Any hoosies, let's give this beautiful and moist looking pork rice dish a try. What is this? It's like a, a Chinese kale or something, like kom sum kale, I think. Cabbage, something like that. And as you can see also, they, they, are, they always add a little bit of that skin, like the pork skin onto every single dish. So each and every dish you get a little bit of everything, I believe. I'm just gonna take a little bit of everything and pop it in the way it is. Mm. 
The texture of the skin. Oh my god, I'm getting emotional. The texture of the skin is so beautiful. It's so so tasty. Oh my god. First, I was thinking to to. Oh, maybe I can give a little bit of it. Aromak, aromak, aromak. This day, take a bite of a chili as well. Oh, it's a spicy one for sure. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> help, help, help. Welcome, come. Bye bye. Bye bye. You guys, that food was really something else. It was so unbelievably tasty. They really, like that entire family, they really knew what they were doing and uh, for two large plates of um, pork or pig leg with rice and eggs and uh, two strawberry fantas actually in those original glass bottles which I feel like makes it so much more special and tastes so much better. We just spent 150 baht which is what? Here, 8, 12, 16, maybe 4 euro, something like that, um, which is really, really affordable, incredibly value for your money, super, super tasty experience, and uh, overall, I don't know, I'm just so happy, couldn't be happier, to be honest. Uh, Talat's Blue, this entire area here is just magnificent, I don't know, I think if we were to move to Bangkok at some stage, we would probably settle somewhere in the Talat Blue area, Talat Blue or Sutisan. Those two areas are sort of our favorite so far, I believe. Yes. <laughs> Talat Blu, Suti San, Hoi Kuang, those three, I yeah. think, they're the ultimate for us. In Bangkok, anyways. In Bangkok, yeah. Not looking at the rest of Thailand, just speaking solely about Bangkok. Hello. Number one when crossing streets, streets in Asia, do not stop. <laughs> I just made that mistake. <laughs> oh, we have a big Buddha tourist boat. You can take a tourist boat from here. Oh, yeah. I always see people on the side of the road here selling lottery everywhere, everywhere in, uh, in Bangkok. People are constantly selling lottery tickets. <laughs> Oh, they all looked incredibly good. Oh, beautiful temple flowers here. Gorgeous. But yeah, lottery seems to be a very, uh, very big deal. Nearly like every 20 to 30 meters. Uh, there's lottery sellers. We have fruit, fruit vendors here as well. Some of the best fruit that we've ever had in our lives has been bloody cards. <laughs> ah, best fruit and the best people. The best people in the world, honestly. Thai people, genuine. The best people, hands down. Unbelievable people. Another lottery seller. I think I'm gonna count how many lottery sellers I see in the space of couple hundred meters. This area is just so, so, so characteristic and beautiful. It does, it smells amazing. It smells like somebody's roasting uh, nuts and sugar. Yeah. It smells like German Christmas market. Oh, it kind of popcorn. smells, popcorn. smells, I was gonna say it smells like a cinema, yeah. yeah. Popcorn. There was also a nut roaster just there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells so good, the popcorn. There's another another lottery seller. So I said, like every... Salikab! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you! 
Guys, please let us know what he said. I don't know what he said. <laughs> Super he nice guy. Thank you. I just said thank you. I hope he didn't insult me, but I don't think he did. I think he probably... Imagine. He said, uh, I'm very tall and handsome. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. That's the only thing that, that people say to you. <laughs> oh. At the end, he's gonna be like, I hate foreigners or something. And you're like, oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> but he would never say that. Thai people don't say this type of stuff usually. No, I think he was saying something very friendly. Please let yeah. us know what he said down below. He looked very but, uh, friendly. Yeah. I thought he was asking where we're from. So I was about to tell him where we're from, but <laughs> I don't think he did. But uh, now we're gonna go to a temple. There's two temples oh. that look interesting here. Look at oh, the traditional wow. house. Look at these houses here. Oh, that's gorgeous. So beautiful. That's there's really also a something else. There yes, one of the temples is here, and then there's another temple. It's not too far from here that we're gonna check out. <clears throat> this is the literal ultimate type of a day for us. Being in a local area of Bangkok, checking out temples, trying food. Food and temples. <laughs> smiley locals. Looking at the gorgeous food everywhere as well and taking in all of the smells let's go check out these temples guys oh look at the doggy doggy oh doggy hello very friendly, very friendly. yeah <laughs> yeah hello hello <laughs> Very, over the temple for a very, long time. very interesting. Wow, I've never seen a temple like this so far, to be honest. Here's the stupa or the pagoda. Depending on where you're from, it will change. It's very beautiful. Wow. It's a peacock, is it? it? Sounds like a peacock, yeah. Anyways, we're here to just explore sort of deeper and this temple here came up for us. It's just on, on the way. <laughs> on Google Maps, so we decided we'd go in and see what it's all about. It seems to be hyper local. Those are usually the most interesting places to see. Might be in the tree maybe. Very loud. Or is it through the I think it's in the microphone, it has a microphone. Wow this building right here is absolutely stunning. Very beautiful. There is a peacock in the tree. Yeah. It's not a peacock. What is it? It's a craw that is imitating a peacock. <laughs> it's a craw imitating a peacock. Crow. Crow. Oh. You see him. Come here. Wow. <laughs> it's a crow, you it's see a crow. Him? found the temple after the confusion over the crow we managed to find it let's just have a look these sort of um, statues here they keep looking like they might be either uh, famous monks or maybe even monks that used to work here I'm not too sure no there on the right is actually a monk wow. Oh, I think I can see the royal family, I believe. The amount of Buddhas here. And in every single temple, or in the majority, let's say it like that, you have the red, green and gold ceilings. And then um, a lot of different depictions of Buddha himself. 
or different Buddhas, depends. Energy in here is crazy. It's very, very strong, but incredibly positive. I feel like a... Yeah, out and up, upwards and out, no? Yep. Yeah, me too. I feel very peaceful. The Buddha image inside. Go to the Buddha. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Oh. 300 years. Almost. Oh. Almost. You wow. should have a look. Yeah. Yes, inside. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Idea. Thank you. 300, almost, almost 300 years apparently. And this is why we love coming to these temples here. No. No. Uh, they come to how the Thai people to fighting with the Burma. Oh, with Burma, and yeah. Take the past come back. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes. This is the old, the old, and they getting this before. Wow! Yes. Incredible. Very, very old, and the 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 lady the. Touch this hand, the, the man that that side and touch. Yes, yeah. the feet, yeah. Yeah. And good luck. Any place, if you get mm, not so good, you can let him help. Touch and think, let him help to touch the body. Anything you have problem, you get sick or yeah. something, you do. Okay. Yeah, you will be healed. Yeah. Oh, wow. You take this one, put in first. Yeah. Inside, and you take this one. Yes. Yeah, take one. And then you think the back, the bad thing go away. The good luck come back. Cross, open up. Good luck. Yes. And you think something good. What you want, you think. And you think. <laughs> and then you cover him. Yeah. And you think, 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 you think? I think you think if you must. Uh, the bad thing go away. You could not come back. And cross, open up. Open good luck. It's cross, you know, good. Open up, it's good luck. Yeah. So this would not be open up. <laughs> wow. So beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. 
Pay our picture. This man is, I show you. This oh, is yes. this man. This man. And this is Pajau Tat Sin Maharaj. Before. They come to fighting, take the prince, come back. Not less the Burma. The Burmese come mm. to fight to take this place. Yeah. They before, before the Lama first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He also a, a king. A king before Lama first. Mm -hmm. yeah? And this one is together, fighting together. Yeah. In this hand, this hand. So this uh, he loved this, this king. So they, he don't want to change to stay with Lama first. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let me die. I don't want to have to, how to say, like a, uh, he loved this king. Mm -hmm. Not, don't want to stay with other one. Anybody else? Yeah. Yes, just Lama first want him come to hell. He said no, no, because he loved the king. Yeah. Three of them fighting together to take back Thailand. See? Do you know? From Burma. Yeah. yeah. This is really, really. Wow. He seems to be very loved with the yeah. uh, cloth, with the ribbons. Yeah. Very loved by people. They fight fighting with the knife until the knife is broken, you see? Yeah. It, the one is uh, broken. Also start fighting to yeah. check check Thailand come back. Take Thailand back? Yeah. And very good. He's wow. very good. Warrior. Warrior. Very good. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much. Kapunaka. Thank you. Thank you.